So I have another great educational video for you all today. I'm gonna to be sharing with you in today's video the exact same method I use before I even look for a trade. This is how I track price on the chart, looking for those best areas to take a trade from. Now you can apply this to any time frame on any currency, whether it be crypto markets or it's on the Forex markets. This will be applied to any market. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go through this area on the four hour chart on the EURUSD to current price. So you can see exactly how I would track price from this low here in the market all the way to the current price right here. This will help you to see the process I go through every single time when I'm looking for my trades. Now, it's not just this process, we're going to look at once you've done this, you'll be looking at use of supply and demand zones and top-down analysis, multiple time frames, looking for that confirmation entry, anything else that you apply in your trading. Now, to help you with your supply and demand trading, there is much more in this channel to go through the supply and demand side. Also, you want to catch that basics of supply and demand course, absolutely free online workshop for you. Link is below in the description of this video. So let's start this year on chart. What we want to do, you want to be using your break of structure area. Now, all I'm going to show you today in this video is applying the break of structure for tracking the area of price and drawing out imbalance zones. Now, this is just to show you the directional flow of price, and it's going to help you going forward in your trading absolutely massively. So the first thing we do, we see this low in the market. We're looking for our breakout there is your break of structure to the upside so just mark this out this is our first break of structure when we see this we're going to draw an area of imbalance what i'm going to do i'm going to go into this area first let's go close into the area so you can see the exact process of drawing out the correct zone of imbalance that's right so when we see this push up in this area from the high of this bearish candle we have a push up. This solid full body candle is showing you the imbalance. We've created the imbalance from the low of this candle. Let me draw it out currently from the, sorry, the high of this candle to the closed price of that candle. That is currently an imbalance in the market. Before we see any of this price, we move this over. This is what you'd be seeing. You would see this area of imbalance created. Now we still haven't yet broken structure. So we're still in this downwards trend here in the market. But look at the way the market has moved out of this low. This indicates to me we're in a bullish movement. Going forward, we see the break of structure. Now this is where you can now fine tune this area of imbalance and you will draw it from the low in the market. So from that candlestick, here, this bullish candle from the low of this candle to the high of that wick, that becomes your leftover area of imbalance once we see the break of structure here. Now, this is where you understand the flow of market. We're seeing the break of structure, a reversal in the trend. We made a manipulation down here, but that's something for a different day. We've pulled back, made another manipulation here as well, dropping in to test this area of imbalance, and we have a nice move to the upside. Now it's right here, understanding the use of supply and demand, manipulations in the market, you can capture a great trade moving to the upside. Now you could have gone down to lower time frames here and caught a great, probably 20 to 1 risk to reward even. But that is understanding the movement of price here. Understanding the flow of price was down in this downwards trend. We broke structure to the upside, we come back to this imbalance, we continued higher. Now, once we start doing this, we can see we have another break of structure here. So we mark this out, our break of structure to the upside. What breaks that area, let's move this over, is this candle here. And what do we leave behind? Again, we can mark out an area of imbalance. Now, I'm going to go through much quicker now on the chart. I've already drawn that imbalance, showing you how I draw it. So we've broken out of break of structure, pull back, retest the imbalance. Again, a lower time frame here. You'll be able to find entries on areas of imbalance, manipulations, areas of demand. We continue up. Again, we break structure. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. You will lose trades. In this business, and yes, it is a trading business, when you use 
any kind of trading in the market, you need to use it as a business, apply it as a business. When we break up here, this is part of doing business, you see. We have a reversal, and you would have had a losing trade potentially. Now, the reason you had a losing trade, because we see this area of imbalance, let's say, and you've drawn this area of imbalance out. We have a test of it. The market starts to move up. We have a push up with this candle. At some point, this is a full body candle, white candle to the upside, and we have a reversal to downside. So at this point in the market, we've now reversed back to downside. We've had a losing trade. At some point, the market is going to reverse. You're not always going to capture that reversal. Now, hopefully I can show you a point where we could have caught the reversal, but this would not have caught that reversal. And this for me would have been a losing trade. So you will take losing trades in this industry. It is part of doing business. But we're tracking price here, look. We can see that the market, let me use the arrows so you can see every time we have a bounce. So we rally up, break a structure, break a structure, break a structure. We come back to those areas of imbalances. This is for tracking price, remember. Now, when we see this push up here, again, this candlestick is manipulating the hell out of everybody. And then we see the big drop down. What does that break? An area of minor structure. Now, it's not a major break. The reason why it's not a major break is because this is our last low. When you see the break of this low here, this becomes your main break of structure. But it's still a minor break and we have to consider this as a breakout. Once we see this, we can now mark out a new area of imbalance. Let's mark this out. That is our new area of imbalance. The market drops down. You can see we make some equal lows. Let's go to the right, shrink the chart down. And if we drag this across, where does the market come back to? We come all the way back up to test this area of imbalance and then we break through. So now we can mark out this low here as another break of structure. This is where the markets come back. Now I like to find when I'm tracking price, I'm using the first area of imbalance. This is not a first area. This is the second area of imbalance. You can see price held at those areas. I'll draw it out so you can see, but not using it for this tracking of price, but we do test it, test it, we drop down. The market creates, let's grab this tool, these lows. We have some equal lows, we have a manipulation, we push back up, take those highs. You can see the way we track price here, we eventually go up into this area and then we break structure. Now we break structure at basically this area of imbalance. We can draw this out. Price has not come back to that area. We, we have a very, if actually this was closed, so we don't have an imbalance there or there in the market. So that's our area of imbalance. We break that structure. The market breaks a minor structure there. We retest. This is an area of imbalance left below as price breaks this low. It's a small breakout right here. Look, the market creates this area of imbalance. It's filled straight away with this push up. At some point, you'd have seen a bullish candle. We drop away, we pull back again. We then break another area of structure. So identifying this is good. I understand that this is an area we retest. We come back. So over here, you're going to probably find an area of supply for an entry. Again, you see, it's important to understand that supply and demand aspect because that's how we actually look for those trades. This is going to track price for me every time I look at the chart. Now, remember, you can always rewind this video and go back and look at how I'm doing this if you're not sure. But there is, don't forget, that basic of supply and demand course, online workshop, as well as understanding the candlesticks and how you can use them with trends in the market. All of that you can grab right now for free. In the description of this video is the link for that online course. So this is our breakout again. So this is our break of structure. Let's mark that off as a break of structure. We can also mark that one off as well. There is our breakout. This is our area of imbalance. Now we can identify straight away. What happened here was we did remove this imbalance eventually. But look at this. We 
make the area of imbalance, we have a small push up into it and a drop away. That's how you can track price very, very precisely once you understand the way you can use this breaker structure and drawing those imbalances. So we do have this area of imbalance again, which is formed after we break this high and we drop away, but there's no breaker structure. So I'm not going to do actually draw this one for the flow of price. Now remember back here, let's just go back in time. I said where you're going to have that losing trade. There was no way of knowing here that this was going to happen. And unfortunately, as I said, that's part of doing business. Here is a different story. Let's zoom into this area of price. And this is for you. If you're still watching this video right now, give me a thumbs up that you're still watching this video and leave a comment and let me know in the comments that you were still watching this video at this point. Because if you've not been watching this video to this point, you're going to miss out on this area, which is gold, understanding the reversal. Now there's a video in the channel that goes through understanding the flow of price and the reversal. I'm going to leave those videos, one linked up above now, and also one at the end of this video to go through understanding how you can apply the reversal. Now, when we see this area of chart, we see price coming down, we create this low, we can mark this across. Now, unlike the previous area, we have a very small breakout, very small breakout. Now look at the previous time we saw that breakout big momentum candle. So this was still indicating price would potentially go higher. Right here, there's no real indication yet price will continue lower. And when we see this candlestick right here, zoom in, indecision candle taking both sides of the range of this previous candle. We took the high, we took the low. This indicates to me a reversal is about to happen. When do we know that reversal is going to happen is we can mark out this level. And again, remember I said about the video, understanding the reversal that's coming at the end of this video. So make sure you watch that video. This candle closing through indicates to me price is going to go back up. So we're tracking price now. So price is going to go back up from here. We're going to break structure right here. So there's a break of structure now to the upside. We see the reversal down here. We're still in a downwards trend, but as we broke this structure here in the market and we've broken this structure, and let's mark it out. This is still a valid break to downside of this low. So it's still valid break to downside, but it's understanding a break with manipulation, reversal, and a continuation with this type of breakout. Once you understand, yes, this one was a losing trade. This is not a great example, but we can see here we have reversal, we have a breakout, the market pulls back to where, and this is where we start tracking the price, the flow of price once again. We can see that we're being bearish. We're now bullish, breaking up of structure, pulling back. Right here, we're gonna find an entry on a lower time frame, and up we go. What do we now do once again? We break out of structure to the upside. We actually come back and test that area. Now that is where we understand the break of a previous area of resistance becomes support. Now that is not the way I trade. Yes, support and resistance traders would see this. This is not what I see. I see the removal of this area here of imbalance. Let's move it back. Then what I see, the removal of this area of imbalance, a new imbalance is formed. And that is formed right here. Where does the market come back to? Comes back to fill this imbalance and then up we go. And once again, current price, we break out to the upside. And we can mark this off as another break of structure. Now that is how you can start reading the flow of movement of price. Once you understand this is the flow of price, you've got that direction, then you can start looking for those trades. Like I said, there is much more in this channel for you to understand new supply and demand. All there's that free course right now, which is the basics of supply and demand online workshop. And that also has another course inside, which goes through the candlesticks, understanding reading candlesticks and with the use of trends in the market. 
Again, the link for that is below in the description of this video. Now, I do hope you've enjoyed this short video today on the education of understanding how I read the markets every time before I take a trade. Now, one thing I want to just quickly show you before we go is that this area here, just mark this out, this creates an area of imbalance when we see this candle closing through. What's this candle doing right now? It's pulling back into this imbalance and we could now see a continuation. This is how you start reading the flow of price much, much better. And it's going to help you going forward tenfold on your trading. So again, if you have enjoyed this video, give me that thumbs up because it helps me to know that you enjoy this content. So I will catch you in the next video. And remember, coming up right now is that video understanding this reversal pattern and how you can start using that right away in your trading.